We often play games to have power we don't have in real life, but how much is too much? Hi folks, it's Falcon, and today on Game Ranks, 10 overpowered guns that had to be removed. Starting off with number 10, it's the Boombo from Fortnite. Explosive weapons from Fortnite are generally pretty annoying in the game, and the Boombo from Season 8 was one of the absolute worst of all of them. Outside of doing a ton of damage, it was capable of demolishing buildings with ease, and because it didn't have a rocket trail like a standard explosive weapon like a rocket launcher, it was really hard to spot players who used it. One Reddit user described this thing as a shotgun slash RPG slash sniper combo. That's how strong we're talking here. Many, many players decried this thing as being way too good, so with Season 9, Epic vaulted it. Really, Epic is the absolute king of overpowered guns that had to be removed. No, I mean this seriously. Um, the list of guns that have been removed from Fortnite is longer than the list of guns that are actually in Fortnite now. A lot of those were removed for different reasons, like they're promotional things, or they were for certain design reasons, but there's no denying that some of them are vaulted because they're just too strong. The Boombo is definitely one of those. At number 9 is Legacy Weapons from Fallout 76. Now, in Fallout 76, one type of weapon seemed to stand above all of the others you would get. The Explosive Energy Weapon. There were only a few in the game, and for a few reasons, they were way better than anything else you could get, especially the Gatling Plasma Gun. What made it so good is the fact that every pellet it shot did full damage, so if you put the Beam Splitter attachment on it, it would just get six times more powerful. Also, because it was an energy explosive weapon, most resistance perks were useless against it. So in both PvP and PvE, it was just incredibly powerful. It was so good Bethesda eventually made it into the game's legacy-only weapons, uh, which is instead of completely removing them and possibly pissing players off by just taking stuff out of their inventory, they made it so the guns no longer appeared anywhere in the game world. So players that already had one got to keep theirs, but no one else could find one. Unsurprisingly, this being an MMO-ish, I guess, kind of, I don't know. It, it led to the value of the gun skyrocketing because they weren't just OP, they were also really rare. Everyone wanted one and it caused the in-game economy to get out of whack with players trying to buy the things up. When the developers removed these guns, they promised that the change would be temporary and that they would eventually fix them. It's two years later, players are still on Reddit complaining about these guns, so fair to say, hasn't happened. But hey, it's Fallout 76, which is an all-around abomination. Duh, of course it hasn't happened. At number 8 is the sawed-off shotgun from the Gears of War series. Uh, it appears specifically in Gears of War 3 and in Gears of War Judgment. This entry is a little bit different. Instead of removing a gun from the same game it's in, this is a weapon that was removed from future games instead. Still a good decision. The sawed-off shotgun, originally introduced in Gears of War 3, was absolutely infamous. It was meant to be an alternative to the standard Nasher shotgun, and was meant to start players off with a less versatile gun. The Nasher was, and still is, very good, but it actually ended up being considered overpowered. You'd think that a gun with a short effective range, only one shot, and a very slow reload would be weak, but no. What it had was a longer kill range than the standard gear shotgun and a huge spread, meaning if the player could get close enough, it was pretty much an instant free kill. Within the lifetime of Gears of War 3 multiplayer, the gun went from one of the most powerful weapons in the game to almost a joke weapon, and with Gears of War Judgment, it was given a slight rework, as it now had two shots instead of one and was less powerful overall. After that, the gun just disappeared completely, it's missing from both 4 and 5, and it seems unlikely we'll see it again in the mainline series. The problem seems like it's just really hard to get the balance right on this gun. It's either crazy overpowered or way too weak. There doesn't seem to be a lot of in-between without just turning it into a new weapon entirely. At number 7, the Necro King from Call of Duty Warzone. At the time of writing, this is a very recent example from Warzone. The gun's actually about two weeks old at this point, so bear that in mind. It is a gun that's less overpowered and more just completely game-breaking, but it's dangerous either way. Instead of just being any old gun, the Necro King is a blueprint. 
basically a weapon skin, but with some additional effects. This one's for the Krig 6 and completely transforms the gun into this wild monstrosity. Like, it is impressive, if nothing else. Uh, the problem is that, at least at release, if players bought it, then the shop would get bugged. Players would get booted for the shop, and even worse, their loadouts would get bugged out too. Some players reported their weapons disappearing from their loadouts just from loading up this weapon. Because of this, Activision was very quick in entirely pulling the weapon from the store. The Necro King wasn't necessarily a powerful weapon in terms of actual gameplay. However, it was so powerful, it stopped you from getting to the gameplay, if that makes sense. Also, it was an unintentional power called Bugs. And number six is the Flint Knock Pistol from Fortnite. Uh, this is an interesting one, again from Fortnite. This isn't just any old gun that's been vaulted. This is one that Epic tried to bring back, but ended up removing again after only a week. So this thing hasn't just been removed, it's been removed multiple times from the same game. And of course, the reason is simple. It is crazy overpowered. It's a pistol that does a ton of damage, but with an unusual drawback. It has this massive kick that sends players flying backwards when they shoot it. It's actually less of a drawback than you might first think though, as it makes players who use it a lot harder to hit if they use it smartly, especially. When used by a skilled player, they can zip around the map and whip out headshots left and right. Seriously, it was not back for long. According to this Fortnite wiki article, they brought it back into the game on February 16th and then removed it February 23rd. It was not in the game long. As far as powerful weapons go in the game, this thing was definitely the most common, as it only had the rarity of common and uncommon, meaning finding it was pretty easy. A gun this powerful that almost anyone can get access to is a dangerous combo, so it makes sense they took it out. What doesn't is why they brought it back, but then they took it out again, so, I mean, at least they realized that wasn't a smart move. And number five is the Street Sweeper from Call of Duty Warzone and Cold War. This is an interesting one because while this gun is very powerful in the right hands, a big reason why it was removed was because players were simply accessing it before it was supposed to be available. This gun was supposed to have been made available for the mid-season one update, but some enterprising players managed to unlock it early by completing a quote-unquote secret challenge. And by secret, we mean a challenge that was present in the game but wasn't meant to be completed by players yet. Still, somehow people figured it out, it's a pretty basic get three kills kind of thing, so I mean, not a shock. And they got access to the gun early. When the developers started to notice people playing around with this thing, they just completely pulled it from the game. The Street Sweeper was eventually brought back and released when it was supposed to, but for a short time it kind of gave certain players a somewhat unfair advantage. At number four, the M60 Personal Defense Weapon System, aka the Pistol from the Halo series. So let's let's get in on the pistol. Dear God in heaven, the pistol. In Halo Combat Evolved, the M6D was an extremely accurate medium range weapon with an integrated scope and high explosive bullets. It was replaced with the BR-55 battle rifle in Halo 2, which was fundamentally different because of its ROF, hit scan bullets, aim assist, and three shot burst. The M6C pistol is regarded as a scrappy weapon, even with the ability to go to guns akimbo. And the fanbase never forgave them for it and clamored incessantly for the M6D's return. Though, games from Halo Reach onward have restored the basic pistol scope and much of its former power and accuracy, the M6D from Halo Combat Evolved is the only M6D in the entire series outside of an appearance with the Hammerstorm update to Halo 5, which added the gun to multiplayer only, though even there it's only available as a special REQ power weapon in Warzone. No other pistol in the series ever matched the power of the original from Halo 1, and there's a simple reason for that. Right before release, one of the programmers went to the code and bumped up the pistol's power. Why they did it? We don't really know, but one programmer named Jason Jones outright admitted he was responsible for the change and accepts blame for it. And for whatever reason, every pistol that has appeared in future games is a slightly different one. They almost all function pretty much the same as the original one, they just look a little different and have slightly different names. Halo 2 has the M6C, while Halo 3 and Reach have the M6G, and Halo 4 is the M6H. They're all very similar guns. They're not the same, though, and none of them match the effectiveness of the original. Even though the pistol was never actually removed from the Halo games, this one, the M6D, definitely was, simply because it was just way too good in the original game. And number three is the AWP Sniper Rifle from Counter-Strike. This is another gun in the banned column. It wasn't just banned from certain competitive games, it's a gun that has been consistently banned by pretty much everyone. 
if you play on custom servers this is probably the number one most banned gun in the game and it's by a long shot get it by a long shot it's a sniper rifle let's revel in that for a moment what made the awp sniper rifle so infamous was one thing it killed in one hit from a body shot not a headshot if you hit someone anywhere with this gun they were dead snipe them in the foot dead this is the gun that basically made no scoping a thing the major downside of it was that there was no aiming reticle unless you look down the sights i mean this is a common thing now but at the time it was a kind of new idea problem was even without an aiming reticle the gun was always hit perfectly and accurately anyway so players would just make a little mark on their computer screen somehow and they'd be able to hit players with perfect accuracy without having to look down the sights this little trick made the gun absolutely unstoppable in the right hands with the update to Counter-Strike Global Offensive, the gun was a lot weaker, but the accuracy of the gun when no scoping became random and you moved slower with the gun equipped. Still, when it comes to powerful guns, the AWP may be the most famous or infamous for gamers of a certain age. It absolutely dominated for a while there, and that is why it is continuously banned. It's a little much. At number two is the Scorpion from Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Here is an old school one that wasn't exactly removed, but it was almost entirely banned from the competitive scene because of how overpowered the gun was. Even though the Scorpion is the exact same type of gun as the humble Clob from Goldeneye, they're about as far apart in effectiveness as possible. The Clob famously sucked, while the Scorpion is ridiculously strong. What made it so good early on is the fact that because of a bug, the base damage wasn't affected by attaching a suppressor, which made it a very powerful weapon. It was a beast normally. Uh, when it was used in hardcore mode, though, it was crazy because that mode, players had less maximum health by default. So it was possible to get a one-hit kill with a machine pistol. That's usually something only reserved for sniper rifles. And let me say this. Finding a lot of information about this game is kind of difficult because of how old it is now. But it definitely seems like the gun was bugged and that the developers eventually fixed it. Still, didn't stop it from being banned by a lot of competitive tournaments at the time, even apparently after it was fixed. And finally, at number one, the Infinity Blade from Fortnite. Yeah, the Infinity Blade isn't exactly a gun, but it is crazy powerful and was almost immediately vaulted after its introduction into Fortnite Season 7. The weapon actually got a ton of hype and attention before its inclusion and was featured in the Season 7 trailer. In some ways, the weapon was supposed to be overpowered. It's the first mythic weapon added to the base game, but even with that exception, the weapon was found to be just way too good. There's a few reasons it was like that. You could pretty much kill everybody in, in one hit, just a single hit. It had a special super jump attack that let you cross huge distances. It gave you an innate health and armor boost along with healing, and it could easily destroy enemy structures. To say it was overpowered would be a, well, it'd be a silly understatement. And it wasn't even that hard to get. You just found it on a pedestal in Polar Peak. Only one player could have it at any given time. And if somebody got to it first, they were basically unstoppable. Epic reversed course on this thing fast and was patched out of the game soon after its debut. You can still use it in creative modes from time to time, but otherwise it's gone and it's probably not coming back. And that is all. What are some overpower weapons you can think of? Leave us a comment, let us know. If you like this video, click like. If you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week. Best way to see them first is a subscription. Click subscribe. Don't forget to enable all notifications. And as always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter, Falcon Hero. We'll see you next time right here on Game Ranks.